does it mean that a Twitch streamer can shut down New York City and cause chaos like this? Well, it is calm in Union Square Park in New York City this morning after a huge riot broke out there yesterday. Take a look at this video. Thousands of people flocked here after a streamer on the gaming platform Twitch called for a giveaway. Casanet claimed he was going to give away a large number of PlayStation 5 consoles to those who showed up, but NYPD confirms the streamer did not get the required permits to hold this event. Many in the crowd got violent when it became clear the streamer did not actually have the gaming consoles to give away. Police there say it spiraled into a dangerous situation. Listen, we're not against young people having a good time. We're not against young people gathering. But it can't be to this level where it's dangerous. A lot of people got hurt today. Casanet is now in custody this morning. He is charged with inciting a riot. This is going super viral right now. I'm talking about 500,000 different comments on the internet. Andrew, of course, we're talking about Kai Sinet accidentally inciting a riot in New York City's Union Square. Andrew, he's about to get charged in court with several charges of inciting a riot. Yeah, and you know what? There's a lot of comments. Obviously, a lot of people are very emotional about this, blaming this. Oh, it shows that society is crumbling or this, this group and that group is like a race war and the I don't want to get into that and I'm not trying to what I do want to cover is a lot more of the thoughtful comments that I thought were interesting right that we thought were interesting and also you know we just want to have like a real conversation about it. you know we're in New York um real quick if you guys don't know who Kai Sinat is he's originally from New York I believe he streams on Twitch from Atlanta and uh he's half what Haitian half Trinidadian which is a, like a very New York thing to be and uh he's like considered a Twitch streamer, Andrew, who's starting to become almost like an IRL real world celebrity. Yeah, yeah. So everybody, if we're if you guys enjoy the commentary and the news that we cover, please hit that like button right now. Now, I do want to note before we get in the comment section, I know what a lot of people are gonna say is like, oh, like Kai Sinat's great. Oh, Kai Sinat is such a bad influence. This turned out this giveaway that he wanted to do actually turned out probably in, in to the leaned into the one of the worst possible scenarios. And I would say though. I've seen Black Friday sales and I've heard of Black Friday sales where people got trampled and died. I've also heard of people waiting in line for sneakers and obviously like anything else that causes a riot or a chaos. Are you talking about the Travis Scott concert? Yeah, Travis Scott. Anytime people are rushing the stage or want something, want a TV, it's always like a TV. People like get hurt. Right. And in this case, Andrew, it was PS5s and PlayStation gift cards, right? Yeah. So does it speak on our consumeristic culture in America, our capitalistic culture? Does it speak on not having enough rules, not enough parents? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, let's get into some of the comments. These are some of the more thoughtful ones. Like I said, there's ones like super defending Kai and other ones being like, put him in jail and find him $15 million. This is crazy. The, uh, you're not going to see either extreme comments. These ones are more thoughtful. Somebody said, this is an example of how technology has allowed juvenile stupidness, which we all go through in our age, to be amplified by millions. If the same scenario were to take place 50 years ago, maybe, maybe 30 young people would show up and only 10% of those would cause any problems. Do you think that this is true? Yeah, well, if you're doing the math, 10% causing problems, let's say that crowd was 800 and you just had 10% of that, that's 80 bad kids, 80 bad kids to turn up and then everybody else turns up. I can see how that happens. It's a chain reaction. You know, anytime one or like a small group gets hype, then it kind of has a, an infection amongst the other kids. Well, and, do and you then, think it's because people want to have a crazy incident and yeah. they want to be lit, right? Yeah, they want to they want to be lit, you know? And, and again, like, people have been trampled at concerts before, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like people haven't gotten hurt at other types of events with other groups of people before. Right, but for it to take place in a major transportation hub like Union Square, it, I know a crazy. lot of people had their commutes delayed and stuff no, like that. No, 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 it, it looked insane. It looked insane. Well, you just can't, like, stop up society and mess up traffic like that, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody said Boondocks would have made a whole episode out of this madness. Yeah, to be honestly, they would have. Somebody said props to the NYPD for ending the situation as soon as possible. Somebody could have gotten killed. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you this, man. It's crazy because it's not fully Kai's fault, but Kai is bringing all these kids and a certain portion of them want to get lit. They want to get rowdy. It's going to turn into a ton of interactions. If the police see you, let's say, for example, just beating up a car, right? But nobody's in the car. They're going to have to stop you. Mm -hmm. If you resist, now this is turning into a crazy back and forth interaction, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and there's definitely some videos I saw of like a police uh, 
<laughs> they're Drew arresting a kid, kid right? They're arresting a kid and his head breaks the window of the taxi. I'm sure that's maybe not what they meant to happen, but it did happen. So I don't know what's going to happen with that. But definitely, I mean, there was like a stolen... Uh, Fresh food truck, right? Fresh direct. Fresh direct truck that kind of got stolen, but left there. And then there was like- They broke into a hot dog cart. Someone got, someone's hot dog cart totally got like <laughs> wasted. Somebody, they just threw all the hot dog. So uh, yeah, luckily no one got seriously hurt, but definitely property damage. Somebody said, this is in no way Kai's fault. I guarantee you 10% of those people are even Kai's fan base or watch his streams. For example, it was just everybody and their mamas just going to a show to get lit to act crazy. Dude, the all it takes is a bad 15% of the crowd, man. And then the rest, it will affect probably another 30%. And then now you got 40% of the crowd. Right, going you're crazy. saying regardless of whether the people are there out of true fandom exactly. or just to, just to see something lit. Yeah, everybody's been in a crowd and got turned up, or, or I'm playing a basketball game, right? One teammate gets turned, starts a physical altercation. That kind of does inspire me to get a little crazier or something or more aggressive. And then look, now it's like a whole thing. So we have to understand there is a chain reaction to things. But again, anytime you have a large crowd, you're likely to have a certain number. That's going to act bad. Right. This person said optics are essential, though, especially when you have millions of eyes on you. Yeah, I don't blame him, though. All that teenage energy, especially in the summertime, needed somewhere to go. It's 50-50. But at the end of the day, man, you'd have to say he started it. Yeah. And that's why he's going to get charged for something. He's probably not going to do jail time. But if you made me say he's going to get fined big time and it's probably going to go on his record. Somebody said, imagine if people gathered like this to fight for policy changes. Maybe then our politicians would actually be scared of us. All that power and no purpose. This is sad. SMH. Mm. Look at this power. Imagine if you used it for good. I mean... Yeah. That's the truth, but couldn't you say that about all these things? Like, you know how people spend like $50,000 on an Hermes bag? What if that 50000 got redirected or redeployed to people who really or needed it? Or what if it? you started a business with the $50,000 and or funded some businesses and invested, did some light venture capital but, stuff? Well, yeah. isn't the whole point, Andrew, that people don't give, especially young people, right? Teenagers that obviously want gift cards to see Kai, Kis uh, Kai Sinat and all the whole AMP crew, the AMP house. But it's like, they... Why would they get yeah. excited about something constructive, right? Exactly. Somebody said, if they were giving out books, this never would have happened. That's kind of yeah, a funny of, comment. Of, sure, yeah, of course. probably no was wilding out over, yeah, some books. Somebody said, uh, I love how the closest thing we get to the Paris riots are over PS5s. Basically, somebody saying America is so consumeristic. Mm. Uh, is that kind of funny? Because, you know, in the Paris riots, they're famous for having smoke bombs. And I don't know about M80s, but there were smoke bombs in M80s, apparently, or at least that's what Mayor Adams said at the Kai Sinat thing. Uh -huh. But it's almost like, but that was, he was just giving away PS5s. What, what was everybody protesting? No, yeah, it did definitely like some bad actors, man. And I think that's what actually ruins a lot of things. You know, you guys ever been to a party? And two people start something, and the party's going well. Everybody's vibing. You said two people have no a, out of a, like let's say an eighty person party, a house party, and then two people start fighting, and then it's a chain reaction, and then it literally ruins the party. No, it completely has energy and inertia that rever reverberates and vibrates throughout the room, and it, it just ch chills the uh, changes the vibe. Somebody said people want to be part of something so bad. This is sad. Play a sport or even a video game with friends. Join a book club. Fight for a cause. This is just sad. And yeah. somebody said, yeah. It's like that one meme where somebody's like messages somebody else and it's like, yo, do you want a beef? I need some more ops. Right. People are looking like, I definitely think a lot of young people don't have like any mission in life. Like I'll, I'll just put it that way. Right. Yeah. Do you think that this was their mission? Their mission was to get lit whether or not, because I heard there was only three actual PS5s given out. So you're not going to get one statistically if yeah, there's 2,500 I, I think people. a lot of people just want to get lit. Like they're just waiting for an event to go to. And they kind of are waiting to be given some directions, you know, to be honest, like right. that's a lot of people. A lot of people have time. They don't have jobs. They have less responsibilities. So they're just looking for that call. And this was one of the calls. Somebody said these days when something like this happens, look somewhere else for what's really happening. It's a psyop distraction. Um, yeah. Nah. Yes and no. I don't know. No, I just think I, that this incident plays really well in media. That's why it's getting like front page attention. Um, somebody said social media has young people under control and it's sad. People just use any excuse they can in 2023 to act like a jackass. We no. need to reinstitute the national draft for a two year period of mandated national mm. service. After a boot camp experience, put them to work repairing our infrastructure. You don't like it. You're going to have to do time plus dishonorable discharge. Um, 
obviously this is recommending something if you guys know about uh, Singapore National Service this is recommending something similar to them you don't have to serve in the military in Singapore but you do have to serve uh, serve in some sort of infrastructure value adding capacity yeah yeah it's not necessarily like oh you have to go protect the country from enemies but you do have to serve the country somehow like improve the country somehow whether that's even cooking for certain organizations like or, government organizations or you're cleaning or you're patrolling or you're building right. infrastructure or something like that. Obviously, I really don't think this has the political willpower to pass through maybe like 20 levels of approval in America, but it would what, probably help if what, you could have what if, what if, you know, like in high school, I think there's supposed to be like minimum, like to graduate, don't you have to do community service? Like that's what I, we had to do. We had to do like 20 hours of community service. Oh, for the senior project, school. right? Yeah, but I think like, Nowadays, there's got to be a little bit more structured community service. Like, you got to, like, have organizations and directions for people. Yeah. Somebody says parenting fail on a massive scale. I would probably imagine that most of these people probably think their actions were completely justified. So think about it this way, David. You grow up as a kid. So a lot of these kids are, like, 14, 15, right? So think about it. Since the age of 8 or 7, they grew up on an iPad or the TV or the Internet, right? So then... The parents aren't really there, so then they grow up on the internet and, the, and they get very attached to the people who they consume on the internet, right? And so they're very attached to Kai and all the other influencers. Maybe even we're part of it too, right, sometimes, where people are like, oh, I really know them. I want to follow them. I want to be influenced by them. So I guess the question is like, if you're an influencer, like, you know, like, what are you influencing people to do? That's yeah, Somebody said uh, it's not even his fault. The people who showed up weren't acting right and hanging on to the car. The, and somebody else said the amount of people who are worried about Kai getting punishment in those kids more than the people like missing children, women, and men in this country is crazy. We have major problems that deserve much more attention. Mm. Yeah, there are trafficked children just around the corner in New York City, for example. And this is what people choose to spend with their time. This is what the police have to do with instead of real problems. So this person was saying... Uh, arguing against this person by agreeing with them, but going, yeah, look, now the police have to deal with this issue because this is stopping the flow of society. So you're actually taking the police away from doing their jobs on more important issues. Exactly. Whereas the first girl was saying, why are we everybody blaming Kai when there's like people getting murdered and stuff like that? Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's just... I mean, there's only like limited government resources, right? Yeah. Somebody said the chaos is ultimately going to make Kai Sinat more YouTube famous. Uh, I think he's already pretty famous. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if people are going to tune in to be a fan of Kai Sinat more now, but... Somebody said, this is the falling of civilization for the entire world to witness. We live in a failed society. If this is our future, then there is no future. A whole generation lost. Hopefully some parents in society open their eyes and start changing now. Mm. But then somebody else said, what, like January 6th, Trump? And of course, this turned into a whole argument about like... You know what I mean? What did Trump do? What did these people do? Oh, he was doing it from the White House and he got off. Mm. Why can't Kai get off? I don't really like this argument. And obviously, that's why I hate uh, what Trump did. Because now everybody can go, oh, well, the president incited a riot. Why can't I do it? Right, right, right. And, I, and I, that just sets, like, such a poor precedent, I think. Because, like... No, that's a good now, point. Now it's just going to set, like, a downward spiral of, like, people going, hey, well, I, I didn't mean to have, uh, have that thing happen. The whataboutism. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, well, what about Trump? He did this. How come you don't? Or what about Biden? Biden's breaking the law, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Somebody said, when was the last time these so-called influencers made a positive influence or impact in this society? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. I can't answer that question. Somebody said, because we're in such a capitalist society, we reward this behavior by increasing his notoriety, which makes him more profitable on Twitch, YouTube, and then he gets more subscribers, which invites more of this behavior. Let's just say this. Let's say, be honest. The NYPD has a weak case of inciting a riot ag uh, against him just because he was giving away some PS5s. Basically, there's just not a punishment for starting a riot these days. This person was referring to, obviously, Andrew, over the past three years in America. What, five, yeah, five, five years. We've had a lot of riots. Man, there's been a, been a lot of riots. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I mean... You're, I mean, I don't blame them for thinking that because think about it, who's been even punished for any of the riots, whether it's January 6th or anything else that happened. Um, somebody said, man, why are you guys trying to go get a PS5? Just save up a p couple paychecks at a teenage job and buy your own. You guys act like $550 is a lot of money. Somebody said, man, I'm young, but my whole generation is sc um, scared of a job and scared of responsibilities. They're just trying mm. to get rich quick. And that's why they all wanted to go get the PS5s. Yeah. I mean, Andrew, endless comments. Like I said, I think I read through 5,000. 
I saw that there was 500,000. We're talking about ones defending him, ones against him. I want to say the distribution was maybe 75% in, in some respects, at least against what happened. Right, right. Like, like people are like, this was bad. And this shows poorly on America to the rest of the world, right? Yeah. So I guess, what are your overall takeaways? Like, what do you think... I guess I don't want to focus so much on Kai Sinat and his punishment because that's going to be up to the law. What I mean, he should get fined at least like $300,000 for right. sure. Well, he has to get fined enough that he, it makes him think about yeah, it. Yeah, he'll right? never do it again. I think that's the whole point of him getting arrested is not to throw Kai Sinat in jail, which I don't necessarily think he should go to jail, but he should basically promise to never do this again. Yeah, I mean, maybe he should. I don't know what, what the court even can do you can't really make him post any certain type of content that's more positive or tell everybody to go do community service they or, wouldn't even do it even or, if he told or what them. does the government tell the platforms like twitch and youtube to like kind of defund him you know like demonetize right. him i don't know can you uh, i'm a fan of kai Sinats as much as like somebody who's like super not in his demographic can be in the sense like i can totally see the yeah. talent i can see why he's popular making what four to eight ten million dollars a year right now yeah yeah, but remember when uh, Logan Paul uh, kind of had that whole adpocalypse with YouTube where basically because he had the Suicide Forest footage and then it, it totally like turned a lot of ads off. It, and alert then, to, uh, it actually led to 30% of the advertisers leaving out of the advertiser pool of it YouTube. It kind of changed YouTube low-key forever. Right. You know what I mean? And so I think like... Does this have that type of effect? I think for teenager superstars, specifically where your fan base is, let's just say 10 to 20 years old, this absolutely changes the precedent for live events. I just do not think you can basically be like, yo, I'm going to utilize my 10 to 20 year old fan base during the summer where kids have nothing to do and then like shut down crucial parts of a gigantic society. You know what it is now? A lot of those really big influencers, and we're not one of them. We even if we invited all our fans out, I don't think it'd be there wouldn't be that many people, uh, at least to cause a riot. But I guess like I think people no longer can say, Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Right. Like if Aiden Ross decides to do a giveaway and a similar thing happens, Aiden Ross cannot possibly say, guys. I am innocent. I had no idea this was going to happen. Literally, you have an idea this is going to happen. So now this is set president. Everybody's educated on what the potential consequences are. So yeah, you're right. A lot of these big guys cannot just throw random crazy meetups anymore. Yeah. I mean, also, I think that I don't want to say it's... I want to say in the media, it's kind of getting blown out of proportion a little bit. But obviously, the precedent is going to be really important that's set. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Yo, maybe they make the Kai Sinat law. You know what I mean? Right. The Kai law, where it's like, yo, guys, as an influencer on the internet that makes a bunch of money per year and has a lot of a young fan base, you know better than to just incite uh, chaos by saying you're oh. going to give away a bunch of stuff. How about keep online fans, Andrew? Online. And don't turn them offline. Well, I, I think in like controlled like, environments, obviously, it's different. Like venues that like, you know, you have to pay to get in VidCon and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, what was that Trevor Noah quote that you were? Trevor, so I, I I wanted to say this quote by Trevor Noah, and this is how I'd end off because I was trying to think of like why so many people connect with people so fervently, where they want to come out and see them so bad, get lit, and then like you know chaos ensues. Part of it is because like when you put out this much content, like Kai Sinat, oh, or streams streamer, like eight hours a day, right? Yeah, people become so connected to you, and actually, it's funny because Kai hasn't spoken, he's only spoken with such a small fraction of them, but most people really feel like they know Kai Sinat. So they feel closer to him than he feels close with them, of course. So in a way, are they wrong for feeling so close to you as yeah. an influencer? Yeah, especially in New York. I mean, he's a New York kid who left, went to Atlanta, became a multimillionaire and a superstar, and it's almost like his homecoming in Union Square, but of course, it just got out of control. Yeah. Well, I don't know, guys. You let me know in the comments down below what you think. I mean, what's done is done. Nobody got seriously hurt. Obviously, there was damage. Obviously, it was messy. Obviously, it was chaotic. Obviously, it's not good to have. But uh, what are some thoughtful things that you guys have to say? We'd love to read it in the comments down below. Yeah, I hope he learns from it. Uh, like I said, I support Kai Sinat. You know, I think he's a really talented guy and uh, hope he learns from it and makes some adjustments. Let us know what you guys think. Until next time, we the Hop Hop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.